Not a thumbs up here, Stas. Big thumbs down, Stas. Yes. Stas, this is how we D. It's always amazing to see what's hot at one point and what's not anymore. <laughs> and a lot of mine were not at the time, <laughs> and still are not. <laughs> but I'm still looking. <laughs> Nick is not attractive yet. So what's it like to be attractive? I think. <laughs> see? Okay. Yeah. Look, beginning facial hair. He's almost there. Go be my. She's wondering what time would you be available to come back to her room tonight? <laughs> What time, Nick? <laughs> Was that a question for all of us? Yeah. Uh, just for you, Nick. Why can't you answer the question, Brian? It just totally flew over my shoulder. I was looking in the eyes and she went like this. He just totally, yeah, passed the ball to me. <laughs> yeah, Nick. What time? With all these record executives and, and they'd be like, Hey, boys, can you sing? That's what singers do, don't they? <laughs> Just like this. <laughs> oh my god, AJ, that was hilarious. What was that? You know what? Yeah. Yeah. That's why you're not like that. Son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> that was What's a great segue. You just killed me. Sorry. It sounded like a cow in the back. We got cow. Okay, let's do it, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my hey, god! Hey, hot. Oh, oh, AJ! I'll save you! Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you could but go back to 1993 uh, for one hour, what would you bring back or what would you do? Wow. For just one question. hour? Wow. Oh, just what would you hour. bring no back? Sorry. That sucks. <laughs> so I was 13. Uh, <laughs> puberty for Nick. <laughs> for just one hour. And then you have to let it go. Oh. You, you know what these are? Oh. These are regular. Those, those are stolen towels from the hotel. Hey, this is gold. <laughs> <laughs> And now. La, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Jack in the Box. <laughs> hey Bay Area, this is how he be. Hey Bay Area, this is how he Because <laughs> I'm losing to Jeff Susan right now by maybe like 10 points in fantasy. That's right. We all play each other in fantasy online, so just so you know. Fantasy football. Fantasy football. I can't clarify fantasy. <laughs> it's like a whole bondage thing. It's really fun. Hey, Bay Area. Hey, Bay Area. <laughs> 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 down the line, and we've got two married men on the end now, which is the first time we've seen you in this country as married men. Has it Should changed you in any way? Has it changed us in any way? Uh, yeah. Made their pockets less. Oh, really? <laughs> now that show the money. Oh, that's crazy. It's all good for her, trust me. Alright, let's try it. One, two, three. Hey, hey there, this is Howie D. <laughs> From the Bank Street Boys. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Hold on. Let me see what we want. Oh, he crashed down. Is there someone in the group that nobody wants to be a roommate with? Um, normally each other, but, you know, it's very hard to. <laughs> If you were stranded on a desert island, which BSB album would you have, have want to have and why? First of all, I wouldn't want to have a BSB album. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, you're on an island by yourself. You don't want to listen to yourself. That is true. Good answer. But if next... <laughs> From
cartelito en inglés a Nick para que me guiñe el ojo, lo escribió mi sobrina. Le vamos a, ver, a poner este a Nick. A ver si puede. Vamos a ponérselo a Nick, ahí te le está avisando. Una guiñadita de ojo. Ahí. Ahí está, ahí está, listo. Perfecto. Pasaje o sea, para Brian. Así te, el que te está durmiendo, le voy a poner a ver qué pasa. A ver, Brian. Un poquito acá, a Brian. A hablar, Brian. Ahí está, ahí le están avisando. Para la cámara. Ahí está, ya está haciendo. Espectacular. Listo. Brian ya está. Brian ya está. ¡Halo! Para mí, fue. Was... It was the uh, I'll Never Break Your Heart, the second version. Yeah. Because there was the first version, which I thought was better. And then we did this second one, and then we were in, I don't even know what Nick, we were doing. what was your hair doing? First bro? of all, before I get to the hair, I was like, like ghostly white, man. I was just like dying or something. His and hair? What about my hair? I was trying to bleach my hair blonde that day, and they said they ran out of bleach. So I only got halfway down. It was bad. I think Get Down for me, now looking back on it, we all kind of looked like a bunch of Muppets. It was a good concept though. Like. It, it could have been, like, if, if we had done that video today, it could be dope. With the technology. But back then it was a little cheese ball. <laughs> Did any of you guys see the original Drowning video? Oh God. That probably takes the top for me. <laughs> well, I think what took the top was AJ. I was AJ's my like, red shirt, freaking whatever you call it. It was like Webby. AJ was like Black Widow, man. Yeah, it was like. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> that thing was so hard to get on because your fingers kept coming through all the holes. There was two holes for my nipples. It was really awkward. It was just like. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like he had a hairnet on for his shirt. But the, the big wave that almost drowned yeah. us. Literally. <laughs> I remember us standing in front of the, um, the the screen, like the television, and we were looking at it. And we all started having a conversation. We were like, I don't think we can really show the world this video. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the best is, okay, we want all five of you guys to like walk real dramatic. And we're just like walking in place. AJ's and really it dramatic. looks so bad. It was just, uh... And Nick's laughing. Oh yeah. I know Kevin's least favorite. Quit. Quit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you just look like a bunch of greased up beefcake. The Chippendales video from Nick, Nick have this one. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not taking my shirt off. This is my <laughs> so I'm gonna do some arm movements. <laughs> Nick was voguing before voguing was cool. Yeah. Everybody else was naked. <laughs> Judge the two. Hold it. There's something else. It. Oh, it's a. It's an end sinks greatest hit. Oh! <laughs> Your style is unorthodox. First part. What do you miss more about the first years of the BSB career? I miss Lou Prone's house. That house is. As we were like growing up as little kids, it seemed like it was like McDonald's, like White Castle or something. I don't know. It was like it was beautiful back in the days. You guys paid for it. I'm Nick and I'm 15. 15? <laughs> Shit! 15! <laughs> Alright, Nick! <laughs> what is your question? Oh, Nick, Nick must have oh, an interesting one. Goodness. What size underwear do you wear? I huh? can't believe it! Eh? Okay, it says, do you have any tattoos? Do you have any tattoos? And 
If not, which I don't, mm -hmm. um, do you think having a tattoo will improve your sex life? <laughs> 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 Der erste Sex. Nein. Nine years old? You were nine years old. Nein. Nein. Your mom be proud of that one, huh? I think it's my business. Si alguna vez tuvieron sexo con alguna de sus fans. I want to know the truth. I knew it. I don't understand it all. But I heard the one word. Come on. on. The one word that she said. Oh, God. I'm talking about <laughs> Romantic relations on the road with some fans. With some yes. fans. Okay. Um, we've all got our own story to tell with each and every one of you. So maybe we can go with just the fans. Which is the best memory with a fan outside of the show? With a fan? <laughs> <laughs> Since we're on the subject of females, if you guys had the chance to spice up the lives of one of the Spice Girls, who would hook up with you? Ooh. Oh my god. Uh, I knew that was coming. Well, there's five of them, five of you, who would hook up with who? Hey, hey go! <laughs> It I'll never break your heart. Get released. 97. 96. 98. Everyone is wrong. There is no winner. The answer is 1995. Gee. Dang it. Boom. I'm sure that the Jonas Brothers used to open for you guys? Yes, yeah, they, they did. Well, how, what were they, fetuses? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they yeah. Uh, in New Jersey. What do you guys think of the Jonas Brothers now? Because you never wore like those purity rings or anything like no. that. Are you into no. that? <laughs> no, uh, wow. no, no, no. <laughs> we're doing our thing, we're doing our thing. It's all good. Yeah. But why couldn't you guys have pretended to be virgins? <laughs> when we first came out, they didn't even have the internet. Now. Much less, you know, we were doing, you know, vinyl records. So, right. you know, a lot has changed. So now they came out with the purity rings and they're fabulous. <laughs> I want to dive with great white sharks. Good, I like that. I really do. That's nice Naked. answers. Good answers. Naked. Brian, Brian, get it. Oh, hell no. Oh, no, 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 Whoever lets go. Cuidado, ahí va, ahí va. No, 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 Important question. Do any of you have serious girlfriends? No. We can I'm seeing somebody. Brian, so you're seeing, seeing somebody. somebody. That's so are you. Oh. Hey, there's three left. I miss the young lady. I miss the young lady. All right. You want to know who he is? Who is it? He's the daughter of the president of Argentina. Uh oh. <laughs> Estaban secreteando por ahí. ¿Qué andaban? Oh, no, no. Are you you are... Oh, no, no, no. What is it? I'm not stupid. I don't understand English, but I... Joke. <laughs> they were talking about you. What? They were talking about you. What? I want to know why. Where did you get this picture? It flew out of the sky. The start dropped it. That's a nice picture. Yeah, no, no. Do the fans mind? Do you mind when, like, when the band go out with somebody? Oh. There's, there's, there's one mean one up there. Yes. 
That's why I kept this secret for six years. <laughs> is available and single, ready to mingle. Nick, your list, your list, Nick Carter of, is of women is, and we actually have a telephone number. <laughs> really? <laughs> if you could choose one or more female celebrities each, not including your partner, obviously, to be on your freebie list, who would you choose? <laughs> My life is here somewhere, right? Yes. She's right over there. She understands. It's okay. Oh, there you are. Thank you. This is good to see you. So, who's your, who's your freebie? <laughs> who will be your freebie? Here one time. Don't worry. You're going to haul the team. Hey, super. That's <laughs> enough. You'll be okay. She, my mother-in-law says it's okay. Uh, don't say Sydney Crawford, okay? You've said that for years. <laughs> you were gonna say it. Yeah, see, <laughs> wife, who would you want it to be? <laughs> Did you say Johnny Depp? <laughs> Johnny Depp. I thought I heard it too, but I ain't into that kind of freaky stuff. <laughs> uh, who? Angelina Jolie. Okay. Yeah. 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 So lame, cause like, that's everyone's free pass. Like, it's okay with Angelina Jolie. Wow. Gets it that we're out of the tour, we understand. What happened? AJ just hit Nick in the balls. <laughs> We've been doing that for 20 years. Please don't ask for it. on top of the game that's why MTV all week long is premiering brand new videos on vid <laughs> spanking new music week on MTV so that they can bring you the newest videos and albums before they're the next big thing I'm gonna start <laughs> off you want some caffeine it's not I can't get it I can get it but it's like <laughs> Hello and welcome to a whole day dedicated to us, the Backstreet Boys. Expect live concerts, documentaries, and lots of thumping videos from your Documentaries, school. god darn it. Let me do it again. I get it. Last time. Can we have some caffeine in your own? <laughs> Please tell us why. Tell me why. <laughs> oh god, this is turning into a so much you made up. Backstreet. Backstreet. <laughs> 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 oh, thank you very much. Thank you for that. You did it. Oh, man. I used to be really angry. He's still. Um, but that was a hormonal it, thing. It depends, on, yeah, it depends on who you're talking to. And on what day. He, yeah. like, he, he, we call it tea talking, cuddling. If you're talking to the management, Brian. I'm probably the ones like. <laughs> <laughs> We're best friends. She reminds me a lot of myself. <laughs> she, 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 you know, he doesn't say he, much, right? That's why Nick right. loves her so much. Out. <laughs> that's why Nick loves her so she's, much. She's, she's, <laughs> we're brothers, you know, and I care about every single one of these guys. So at the end of the day, you know, I think that came across. So I'm not really. He cares about me more than 
<laughs> Basically, yeah. It just shows that like, he cares Brian's about Brian. Brian. What is it? You're More hardest on the ones us. who love the most. Yes. Yeah. So he must yeah. love the heck out of you. Yeah. He, see, that's that's why right. Brian's his favorite. He freaking really <clears throat> hates the rest of them. <laughs> Uh, are you guys gonna uh, sing a Chinese song uh, in, the, in, in your show this time? Uh, she, honey. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, in the concert, are you, got, are you guys gonna sing a Chinese like song? Like We're a hockey team, man. We dress yeah. ourselves. <laughs> That's the hockey team. The first year of our existence and how it used to be. I don't know if he's not but he's in the photo where he did this song. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just me. Like water beds, Brian. <laughs> no, you, you don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Did you ever? Uh, there was a time I did. <laughs> I never slept on a water bed. I imagine that there's slapping in the night. <laughs> you know the water Not kind really of slapping, but smacking. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hi, guys. Have you ever seen an old man do this? <laughs> I can't bring it. I lost my hair. All the leads back in the day, I can't say no more. <laughs> and Kevin, you speak spokesperson, then he can't talk anymore. Yeah. I stuck it all with me, my Yeah. Come on, Josie. Yeah. You guys are boring. Only you be here. In. In? No! I ain't singing this song! No! I ain't singing this song because I can't think of nothing! But no! In O! In O! In O! Said no! No! Oh! <laughs> Just what he needs! Sugar! Yeah! yeah. Great! More sugar! No, no, no. Power down. <laughs> Power down, dude. <laughs> Take it down a notch. Take it down. Stavok and Decker. for the show. Yeah? Okay. Good. <laughs> he goes and walk up, okay? He walks by, right? Pretend I'm really tall. <laughs> so he goes like this. He goes, call me AJ again.
day's over, Brian will have the camera, he'll be filming, he'll be gone, filming his bus, filming the directing. It's all full production. It has to be full production. But that's why we love Brian, because Brian is adorable. <laughs> And, and I you, take it for the team. You really but wanted I strip it. and I do everything they ask, and then they still bust on me <laughs> for my name. And, and he's That's the fool. AJ can't have too much free time because he'll get another tattoo or change his hair and come another. I'll get his foot running over. Yeah. <laughs> Again. I calmed it. I calmed it. It was a throw before. Yeah. Just yeah. yeah, wait until she's on camera. So. Yeah. Right. I had to. <laughs> I had to. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. I actually. Is that intentional? Yeah. The throw. Well, no. no. <laughs> what I, I, I got twists and I didn't, I didn't like it, so I washed my hair right like the day afterwards, which you're not supposed to do, and it, when I dried it, it just went poof. And you like it? I like it. My eyes are blue today. Okay. Today. Today, tomorrow, body part. You're a real artist. I'm no, he's not. <laughs> I'm just free. I'm just free. free. I'm free. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm on. I <laughs> yeah, fucking look like Dick Dastardly over here. Hey, guys, you know what this girl just said to him? It's awesome, I have to say. She goes, Hey, Dick, you know what to cool you off? A razor. <laughs> yeah, AJ. Like, I set a goal and I will not back down. Like a little built in fear. Let Nick go, there. Yeah, let Nick go. But I have to give you props so on that. That was very, very good. Uh, AJ, if he goes to a mall, I mean, it's over. I mean, look at him. You know, I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> So. so no plans to change your look anytime soon. We're liking mm, the beard. Not for the rest of this year. Okay. See what we, happens um, is that when we, we tell AJ... I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just going to just add on his beard. When we tell AJ we don't like it, he's going to grow it on purpose. So now yeah. little by little we're starting to tell him, dude, you look freaking you awesome. You look amazing. Oh my God, you should so keep that. Like, it looks perfect. Hey, so I know this is a surprise. Yes, it is. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> She introduced you at the beginning. We saw you walk out in your pants, and we were like, ah! <laughs> I was gonna wear a suit. I was, I, I was gonna wear a suit. I was totally gonna wear a suit, and then I said, you know what? I just want to be myself. I want to just be as if I were. Well, actually, I, actually I was gonna down. wear a suit, I but down oh, today. Yeah. I had <laughs> Next thing you know, these guys tell me they're wearing suits. I'm like, wait, AJ's not gonna be wearing a suit, though. <laughs> yeah. I talked to this Probably one last Holland's night. Day. Yeah, I talked to this one last night. He said, I'm shopping. I so said, what are you shopping for? Yeah, you know, I'm, you know, doing, doing Oprah, and I was like, why are you shopping the night before? So I see what you got. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have to go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you What's very much. The, we'll her real quick. What's the first video? single off the second album. Oh, our video? Yes. First single off the second Back album. She's back. Back she's back? Yes, in French, though. Uh, okay. uh, bonjour. <laughs> bonjour. Ow. Didn't hurt him. i do it again. Give him on the neck.
already like sweating in the front show. And so I'm going like, and I look up at my corner eye and he's going like that. Us in the rain on a basketball court. And then it starts raining. Just chill out. Actually, boys, Kev, what's going on, on with the dew there, my that, man? That, that, he is, that he was is. my uh, oasis. That was my Black oasis Lewis. space. Here's an oasis space. <laughs> I would you guys tell us any secrets about any of the other boys. We want some dirt, LOL. We can talk about Kevin. Anybody snore? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Kevin. And I miss Kevin, y'all. Yeah. He's always go like this. Nobody but you. <laughs> and he looks so mad all the time. He be waving at him. He's like, <laughs> 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 so he's a happy. <laughs> but he's a happy Blake. All right, we gotta get the tables out here for yeah, Rose we're, time. We're, we're doing it. It's so good to be back with my brothers after uh, after six, seven, seven years give or take. Oh. It's good to be back in Shanghai. Thank you all. Anybody else? They're not into. They're not big huggers. Don't kill him, guys. said, Kevin. Oh. Whilst there was some suggestion you looked a little like a horse or a wolf, <laughs> ultimately people thought you really looked like a shih tzu. <laughs> it's probably the eyebrows. Because at one time, I did, they were down here, but I just recently <laughs> trimmed them. <laughs> Twelve years old when we started the Backstreet Boys. He was like, sing it like this. <laughs> you know? and, uh, now, uh, Nick, your voice is changing. No, no. <clears throat> Come on, what's going on with that? When we first got together, that's some of the songs we used to do with some Jackson Five songs. Um, we actually did a song. I did a song called um, "Got to Be There." Which you saying he hit the original key before, before he hit puberty. He was up and, and actually, he was hitting the original like, key that Michael hit. Seemed pretty high that but, but basically, what, what we key was that in there? Got to be there. <laughs> Although now Nick can do the bass. He's on the floor, dude. You sound like the ship horn. Brian mentioned to me that you were my guardian. I was his guardian. For legal guardian. A little legal guardian. Oh, time. Oh, Especially you. You got on the bus and you said, I'm hungry. 
<laughs> I'm hungry. Are you always whining like that? And <laughs> uh, not, I haven't eaten. Well, like, you know. people that question. That I can answer that question. Yeah. Yes, he whines a lot. He whines a yes, lot? he does. Yeah. I do not. I do not whine. Um, He's the hey, baby. Said, He's gonna be staying with me tonight. Yeah, because uh, I'm his guardian. You're not my guardian. I'm his boy. big brother. <laughs> Kids playing on the microphone. You would think they'd never touch one. I don't give a damn. I act like a kid. I'm not here. It's like that same feeling you get on Christmas. What about cologne? Do you guys have a favorite cologne you like? Choop. A fan actually got me some uh, D&G. <clears throat> so I like that. It's pretty cool. I like uh, cool water. Yep. You were never. I don't wear cologne. He doesn't wear cologne. <laughs> <laughs> he just what's, what's your scent, Nick? It's my Dial scent. So. <laughs> were we in Knoxville, Nick, when it said Nick for president? No, <laughs> man. That's the worst thing this country could do, man. <laughs> I like the sound of music. Oh yeah. <laughs> That was good. Not me, Andrew. 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 I there never you saw go. that one. You never saw the sound of music? <laughs> Nikki! Security! That's an it's American standard! You never saw the Goonies? Goonies compared to the sound of music! <laughs> <laughs> A little puppet and Julie Andrews, Christopher Plummer! Did it make your mom nervous that you were hanging out with all these yeah, older guys? One year old. <laughs> I learned a lot, put it that way. <laughs> Poor Nick. Poor the things Nick. Nick saw when he was 12. <laughs> what about Nick? What about, what's, what's, is there anything wrong with that precious Yeah, what's the thing? problem with Nick? <laughs> oh, the precious Nick. Well, uh, what is <laughs> I, know. Hey, I, can, I can annoy, I can annoy the guys a little bit. We got a little um, <laughs> tiff while we were down in the Bahamas, remember? Remember we, we got... always get into tiffs. Actually, <laughs> Interviewing is talking about our music. And you know, I've just come to accept that that's him, and you know, that's what he that's what he does. And you know, he has a short attention span. They're my little brothers that I never had. What substance did Nick once try to smear inside Howie's underwear? Talk about peanut butter. That's correct, AJ. Yes, it is. <laughs> and how he got him back by putting it on his in ears. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah. From Nick. From Nick. Why? Why'd you pick on him? Because he was. He's, 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 he's a little kid. He throws me in the door. He's a dog. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nick's, oh, yeah. Nick's the little brother how he never had. Never wanted it either. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's, it's, it really represents us and the direction that we're trying to go to. And my cohorts being dorks over there. See, see how they are, kids. Yeah, exactly. That did not taste like my water. Hey, I didn't do nothing <laughs> different. Than oh, shit. That's real great. A blow up dog. Yell at him, Kevin. Yell at him. My favorite is my favorite is the Dog Dynasty. Dog Dynasty. Nick, Nick milk, so Nick throwing milk. ice cold milk on right. you when you're in the shower. I got or Howie water, last. or just Coca Cola, got Cola or whatever. Oh, I, he can no, I got find. Howie last. I got Howie. Oh, you feel like I'm lying about whatever he can find. Nick a couple times. I came out the shower one time. Did you? Didn't think nothing was gonna happen. And Brian threw a whole bucket of ice on me. <laughs> Here's our question. If you were stranded on an island and you ran out of food, would you eat bugs to survive? How about each other? If so, who would you eat first and why? <laughs> I'd go hide, man, because you ain't going to eat me in there first. You'd be the first one to go. Nick was trying to take it home with him. <laughs> what was that? Mark? It was, it was you? I was trying to get started. You see that? I'm going to count first. 
One, measure the two. thickness. Oh, shit. I'll leave the car with Zeno. We no. <laughs> you think you know, but you have no idea. Oh, 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 Get together. <laughs> Get together. Hey, we're the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh huh, you got a dose of your own medicine, kid. <laughs> I loved it when the Aaron and him were going at it. <laughs> I just said uh, that perfect. earlier. Oh man, that I was that line for a while. Did it feel good that I was trying to apply what you taught me, Howie? <laughs> <laughs> I just felt finally relieved that all this, the the mental anguish that you put me through. You used to whoop my ass all the time. <laughs> It's your turn, Awi. Come on, Awi. 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 Awi, you want to play Awi? <laughs> wow, 10 words. That's really tough. An, an amazing, I always say it's been an amazing roller coaster ride. Because uh, roller coasters have ups and downs. And we've gone through the highs and lows together. We've experienced so much. So, good analogy, Howie. I said I can't do it. Used up all your life. I already said I already cut myself off. Yeah. Um, for some of the guys, have been in this group more than half their lives. But also we're like family members, don't get me wrong. We, there's times when we're out on the road and we've had enough of each other that we can't wait to get out and do our own thing. But then, sure enough, a couple weeks go by, maybe three or four weeks, weeks go by, and then we're missing each other again. In the meantime, we're going to get a star on the... Are you still answering board. this question? I told you it was past two words, okay, buddy? I already told you ahead of time, okay? I'm sorry, I dazed off, I came back, and we were still talking. Exactly. But I have to do that all the time with you guys. So it's, it's good that you finally have a chance to do that. Take your chance, Howie. Take your chance and run with it, bro. So anyways, so to sum this all up again, actually, when I go back to when I was a little kid, and I started thinking of all the different things in life that I wanted to accomplish together. Bring one time and uh, one day at band camp, we all hang out together. <laughs> Swine, swine flu? It was, it was horrible. I was isolated in my uh, hotel room for three days in New York. At a um, five-star hotel, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you seriously going up and shooting my heart? 
we spotted one of the Backstreet Are you a Backstreet Boy? No. Hell no. Are you a Backstreet Boy? I'm a Backstreet Boy! Hold on. <laughs> I, I, I thought he him. manipulated me a minute ago when he pulled me aside when we were just singing and he looked into my eyes. Uh, and he was like, he does. <laughs> he does that. You guys have so many songs which have been unreleased. I think my iPod is half just unreleased Backstreet Boys songs. Really? Yeah. Really? I don't know. How'd, how'd you get those? I, I, you know. <laughs> what, they they want a physical album. what is your favorite, like, out of all those songs? Yeah, oh, oh, really uh, awesome. Missing You, I really like. Oh, Missing You. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that is so cool. No. We actually jammed their music back when we first got together. Remember we, we used to drive around in, the car, in your little Civic? <laughs> Brian's like, why you gotta bring up the Civic, man? Hey, Collaboration of a bunch of different songs. And Nick here. Hey, that was Nick. <laughs> that was Nick. <laughs> hey, Nick. Okay, all right, okay. Hello. 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 All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's harmonized. Yeah. Was I on key? Was I in key? Yeah, you were actually more on key than I was. You're lying. <laughs> I swear to God. I didn't know where I was. You still live in Tampa? Yeah. Do you want to buy some? No, I don't actually. He said no. He said yeah. <laughs> Yes, not a bad person. Sex, having sex, sexual, sexual intercourse, pee pee, bondage, <laughs> ding dong. What the hell is that? Making it out. <laughs> Making it out. No, that's not a schwanz. Uh, what are you saying? Schwanz. Schwanz. Yes. A schwanz. Penis. Penis. Oh, nice. Penis is no penis. Name. No penis. Yeah. Uh, there's lesbian. Lip. There's two girls. Lip. No, no. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Let's talk about. Let's talk about favorite food in Holland. You know. You know the name My of this. Fish. Harry. Harry. You like it? No. You don't like it. <laughs> yep, wouldn't what, be good. Nick, what have you been eating? Because you've like you're a full a grown boy. adult right now. You know. You, a big you just look like. Adult. Yeah. <laughs> good, but, I'm, good call. Yeah. Uh, you don't call. What have you been eating? Another question. What's the cup size of breath here? For some people, it's completely different. What? That'd See? Be nice. See? See? That's right, that's right. Is this Aaron that's Carter? Boy, man. It's my brother. I get this. Yeah. yeah. I was talking to this girl. Wait, 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 I never heard this. That's just odd. Let's that's play. awkward. I never heard this. What the hell is this? Don't that play it ever that's again. It. Stop. Stop it. You can't promise me. That's what's hard to do, bitch. That was wrong with you, Howie. Making sure that was you, Evan. I would never be caught rapping. Of course, of course. Hey! How are you doing, Pam? And Nick, look at the floor. What is Ninja Turtles? What is it? Oh my god! This was written for you! Kevin, come on. You know this. Sinju? What is it? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Actually, we've got a very interesting picture of, uh, of Nick. Oh. Nick, do you remember this? Oh. Dressing up. Oh. <laughs> Be very embarrassed. Uh, something really cheesy though. Nick has a scar on his on his knee, and we never really knew like the whole story. And then to go see where he got hurt, the fact that his dad told him like he didn't really believe in hospitals, so his dad just took him home and stitched him up in the house. Real like. Ghetto version of stitching, you know? <laughs> That's why he's got the best looking scar on his knee now. <laughs> he's so drunk. We're gonna kick their butts. Trust me. Nick's got his pants on. So we're all good. <laughs> yeah. You know what this is a distraction. <laughs> hey, is everybody having a great time so far? Like I said earlier, yesterday.
yesterday, this on my second cruise. Last night, I said, this on my second cruise. Lee, this ship is moving. I'm glad some serious shit. Doing a whole lot of choreography tonight because I would fall off the stage. Uh, and then burn them all, Brian. <laughs> is this already? I'll be right back, I gotta pee. I'm just answering. <laughs> Who's that one rock? He has bladder Love issues. Nose. He has bladder issues because of the underwear conversation earlier. I hear you, Brian. <laughs> Howie's now starting to sing all over these songs, and he sounds great. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> I love you, man. I do. Just remember that. And now I swear to God, everything shrunk. You and my mom both. B3. Do you come out with like nose ring? My wife, my wife. He's such a good student too. He says such a liar. <laughs> yeah, now all everyone that's watching this is gonna think, exactly. what the hell? Decisive behavior. Make a no, decision, Howie. No, 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 actually. I'm sure Puerto Ricans aren't supposed to do this. You guys remember, if it was in sequence, if I remember correctly, after that song, it went. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, 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 God, you're right. Yeah, you're right, actually, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Uh -oh. That's a cute. I think, no, I, I think he's right. <laughs> Y'all sound like a That's dying mule, part. so that happy me. Because y'all always make fun of me. Like More Than That is probably one of my favorite songs. But in this show, it's just kind of like, Oh, I will walk to my left and my right. Exactly. Oh, my sucks. Pointless. So far back up on the stage. And we can't really get close to the audience. But you can listen to us when I say. So now that you guys are all going to know during the show tonight, like, what's going on in our heads. They're like, oh, more than that's playing. Brian hates that song. There we go. Well, I'm gonna sell it to we're actually good entertainers. Do not make signs. You also sing, uh, sing in the church. Yes, I Shall do. Shall we sing to say together, oh, happy day? Oh, happy day. 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 Because my brain not works so good anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, you messed up. That's my favorite song. That's like seven, eight of that song. I'll tell you one thing. There's something. That's why I didn't make the record. There's something that I that It has three or more colors. You have the majority of the group. So that song prevails. And that just goes to show you that the song doesn't make the record. It's not one person's responsibility. <laughs> Someone is passionate. Nobody has a veto. No, no, no. Nobody no, no, no. has a veto. <laughs> you know what I'm right about this? If someone is passionate about the song. If someone's passionate about the song, they'll do like you do it. Hey, Brian, come here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 AJ can't stand being alone so bad that uh, he either has our manager staff or wardrobe staff or one of our staff always attached to his elbow. <laughs> called my wife's room at the time, my girlfriend at the time, and called her 
what is it? Um, he takes out your plate, like, do like a little practical joke on her. He's like, um, hello, uh, room, whatever. He's like, uh, I'm the hotel security. He's like, we need to uh, make an investigation of your room. We think there's a missing iron board. <laughs> and she's like, oh no, the backseat boys in my room. I don't know what happened. They were in my room, they were drinking, and the iron board's not here. <laughs> she told me to call this <laughs> She's doing you in the bus. <laughs> Um, yeah, tell me about the drinking game we used to do back when you were uh, drunk all the time. Uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For lack of better words. I know what you were going to do. Chris, man. Thank you. Song. Don't it. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> for me is like when I answer my door at the house people think that all the Backstreet Boys live there. <laughs> they like look over your shoulders like is uh is Nick or Howie here? <laughs> like is, did, has Kev come by today? Like we all live together. It's funny. Gotta go. See ya. It won't turn off. Really? It won't turn off! Let's see what we got. Favorite one, what's the one that you make fun of me all the time? Breathe. <laughs> breathe? Yeah, yeah, do that. So, who in the band is the goofiest one? That's, that's me. Yeah. Who is the neat freak? Howie. One of these two. Oh, yeah. They're, they're both pretty good about that. Yeah. I'm not even close. Brian's pretty neat, too. Yeah. Actually, Brian is probably neater than these guys. I used to room with this guy. I remember You're a neat you guy. He's like I'm OCD a, neat. I'm a neat, goofy guy. <laughs> He's a neat, OCD. goofy guy. All right, who's the geek? Who's like the one that's got the, the latest tech? Uh, Nick. Nick's definitely a geek. Yeah. Nick actually owns the I, geek squad that you go to like Best I Buy. That's him. Have, I have 20 computers and they all have a name back home. Uh, Rebecca is my um, Alienware uh, M17 XR3. Um, <laughs> I can keep going on if you want. That should be enough right there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Who's the most hair obsessed? That's me. That's you. I'll take that. I'll even I'll take it, you know, because I know they're gonna call me out, so I might as well just take it. Yeah. Who's the late one? Who's who's always? I own it. He'll own it. Thirty minutes. <laughs> Nick. Um. What? <laughs> That's Nick. Hey, 
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> said, I once tried to sniff coke, but the ice cubes got stuck up my nose. AJ. AJ. Nick! Oh, I what? That. <laughs> I swear I don't oh, like said that. Cola. The, um, the diamond poem. That's oh, our favorite. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That's our favorite. And I walked up to this one girl and I said, you know, diamonds, or girls are like diamonds. Um, they start out, sometimes they start out a little bit rough around the edges and they blossom into something beautiful and just stuff like that and this girl's looking at me like what and how he's just laughing like oh my god AJ what are you doing it was it was embarrassing it was embarrassing I was embarrassed but as a friend I I stuck behind him and yeah and go ahead AJ that's right <laughs> Awards for the smash hits. Why did you change it? Very good question. I wouldn't have asked that, you see. I wouldn't have known to ask. Um. <laughs> so, are you rich? That's from Anna. No, 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 no. No. I wish. I am, Emma. They're not rich. They're not rich. <laughs> so you can wait. Wait, wait a few minutes. So, so I've met all the girls in school. How did you get the girls in school? You're this. No. I'll just say. I'll say the same thing. You could see all that great footage uh, back in the day. And he said the thing that he remembers that you guys being good and that there was a lot of, quote, air thrusting. Yeah, it was a hormonal thing. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're looking at a girl in the front row, all of a sudden you just... You want to you're, you're just compelled to <laughs> do an air thrust. <laughs> to you just want to <laughs> Make a make a career out of it. Doing career. So, a couple of hit records. Would be good. <laughs> 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 Give it Everybody grew to the music. Everybody jam. Oh God. <laughs> He's a bunch of cry babies, so it's sweet. <laughs> but this is a dream come true. I never thought I'd be old for these. You got me. See his dad perform for the first time at Good Morning America. He got really emotional. That whole emotional Richardson thing that <laughs> you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. But when we were in rehearsal, he was sitting in the. Uh, we were at uh, Irvine in the amphitheater. He was sitting in the audience with Tone, and he was watching our choreography. And he leaned over to Tone. He's like. Are they together? Are they doing that together? And Tom was like, no, but they're supposed to. <laughs> he's, he's, like, he's like, Mason has an eye. He noticed you guys weren't together. You weren't synced up on your Again, just like daddy. <laughs> just like daddy. Oh. It's crazy, man. He was four. Remember all like this. Like this. And I kept doing things. I was like, I get it. And everybody's like, and I'm like, 
time we had you guys on, we were running short on time, so we didn't get to talk. Right. The amount of hate mail that I received <laughs> from people all over the country. How dare you not talk to the Backstreet Boys? Uh, we're talking to you this time. Hey, Anything man. you want to say, <laughs> we'll just talk to you. Though Backstreet Fever is running high in the States, the group first caught fire in Europe, where their heartfelt love songs caused, among other things, dozens of German fans to faint. Well, it was unique at the beginning because we had all that, so to say, over in Europe. And then when we flew home and we landed in Orlando, it was like birds chirping and not even a family would come to the the, the fans are often, are, are often a surprise to me. Sneak into a hotel room and, like, grab a piece of soap with, like, a piece of hair on it. And they, this is now in, like, a little a, a thing with, like, a glass case and there's these laser beams. You can't get to it. Does it ever weird you out, the, the length that people will go to? We're just ordinary guys, and we're 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 in the whole we're in the whole picture. I you know it'd be weird to be on the outside looking in, but we're on the inside. So to us, Look at it, it kind of seems weird that people would take a bar of soap that we used. Girl stowed away on your bus. True, false. Yep. Two. Yep. Two girls did. Yeah. And you didn't know they were on the bus. Not until no, about a an hour and a half, two hours later. Yeah, we were, we're all asleep. asleep. You were asleep on your tour bus. manager, they were actually hiding like behind, like there's an area we can hide behind the bunks and stuff. In between the bunks. In between the bunks. And um, man our manager woke up and he rolled, rolled over on. and he rolled into a leg. <laughs> some... She looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Patrol officer at the border. He said, would you mind taking your bus three blocks up and making the left? And I have my <laughs> daughters there waiting for you. And the largest crowd we have ever seen in Times Square at one time. Honestly, it looks like... New Year's Eve. Was a and so many devoted fans outside literally spent the night, stayed out there all night long, all this morning, just to even catch a glimpse. Why are the girls so crazy when they see us? Why do you go crazy? It's funny, it's fun for you, obviously. <laughs> Forever. Guess my hair is black and blue. I've dyed it just for AJ because I love you. If he is... The best fans in the world, thank you guys, you guys rock. Like, that Nick had to build a fence around his family's house because yeah. people were taking chunks of their lawn. Yeah. yeah. Is that uh, true? Kinda... We'd come back here and there were actually tourists. There was some guy in Nick's neighborhood giving a tour and taking people by his house. Right. It was Disney oh. World, Sea World, Nick's and World. And Nick's house. <laughs> some, some fans yeah, also came over to my yard, did some gardening, took out some <laughs> weeds and stuff out of my front yard. So I just like to thank him for doing that. <laughs> I love. Una, dos, tres. You're the one.
You become the biggest selling debut artist in the world, worldwide, with the exception of America. What was it like for you guys that first two years coming home to your homeland and nobody knows who you are? Meanwhile, you sell millions of records. It. No fan land. We call it a no fan land. No fan land. No. After selling out the Molson Center three nights in a row and then coming back to the U.S. and performing in parking lots, um, <laughs> it's an adjustment, but it's very humbling and we don't mind. Uh, we, we're hard workers and we don't mind. Well, where are you guys uh, back from now? We just came back from our tour in Europe with Germany, Austria, Holland, Switzerland, Sweden. Right now, right today. Yes. yes. We're performing on stage today. Yes. yes. Tired? You can tell me. Is that her 57 shows in 48 days? Is that why you did that one time? That was our first tour. First tour. First headlining tour in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. And no burnout. You made it. <laughs> Just the, the work ethic, too. Mm -hmm. I've Thanks. never seen a band work as hard as you guys do, and I've told you this before. Thanks. And it never yeah. ceases to amaze me. And, you know, any way we were going to get them was just on their kind of half day off or whatever it was. So I was yeah. like, yeah. great, but if they have a half day off, these guys, they work so hard. Truly have the best work ethic in the entire business, certainly unparalleled in my 18 years of doing this. I'm about to give me a five group band and see how it works. I want to know what you guys think of the whole boy band phenomenon. I mean, you guys are basically the ones to start it out, you know, like, and I just want to know your thoughts on it. Uh, we look at this as a, as a great opportunity because we've opened a lot of doors um, for a lot of groups. And it's flattering to see that happen because we've, we've kind of set trends musically and, um, and in the market, so to say, the pop market. We the Backstreet Boys lit the fuse on the whole 90s teen pop explosion. They broke down the barriers and allowed NSYNC, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera to come charging through that door. Honestly, you, you, at that time, because you said you were the first artist to come through the label, you know, at the t did anyone, was anyone there saying, listen, don't believe what we're putting in here, this is all just for, you know, the business part of it, these guys no. aren't really talking no. about you. They we were just so new to it. That this was yeah. We were so we new, we didn't have, like, no whatever. media training or any of that kind of yeah. stuff, we just winged it. <laughs> and, uh, friends with all this yeah. I mean, yeah. I've, I've oh, hung course, out with yeah. Chris recently. I mean, I went to we, college with Chris. We Chris were in choir you know, together. We were like, from me to Brian, we sang next to each other. It was Kevin's proud father who uncovered his son's musical prowess, and it was his father who nurtured it. His father was his biggest cheerleader. After graduation, it would in fact be Kevin's dad, recognizing Orlando as a beacon for aspiring young talent who would encourage his youngest son to leave Kentucky. Dad says, son, I'm not trying to get rid of you, but I think it'd be a good opportunity for you. And in Orlando, Kevin would indeed find greater opportunity than any parent could imagine for a child. But Gerald Richardson would never get to see that. Determined to honor his father's memory by achieving the success that Gerald Richardson had always believed was possible for his son. <laughs> Today, the youngest son has become the eldest Backstreet Boy. Your dad's gonna come looking for you when he when he sees the little dinner bell ring and he sees the you know cha ching, and I didn't believe that either. And just as things started to pick up, phone calls started coming in, started getting Christmas cards, started getting birthday cards. Like, 
Wow, that's man, that's what? Tough, they, were, yeah. they were right. He kind of expected me just to, like, jump back into it and just become your son all over again. And it's just, I couldn't do that. You know, I was raised solely by my mom and my grandparents. And even today, AJ remains emotionally conflicted, if not outright cynical, about the prospects of a long-term reconciliation. What do you do? Because that is still my dad, you know? I mean, that is still my flesh and blood, and... You know, I, I look at someone like Kevin who doesn't have a father right now, and, you know, I do, but, you know, I'd love to fix things, but you just can't, you know? Just, you know, I didn't like who I was. I didn't care. I didn't give a crap. I was just, I, I was not a very happy person inside. What did it do for you? What did you think of yourself while you were high? I didn't feel. Okay. I didn't have to feel. I you didn't want to feel. You know? Define yourself without referring to music. Who are you? I'm a son, I'm an entertainer, I'm... Can't say music. No, can't say music. I'm a... Uh, Doing his comedy act. I'm... You're a comedian. I'm a <laughs> joker. <laughs> oh, hold on. No, I'm, uh, I'm human, I'm nice. vulnerable, <laughs> and now... Uh, I have learned that true victory is victory over oneself. For a lot of things, for other things that were going on. What exactly was and is going on, Nick wouldn't say. Though it's clear that he is attempting to put some distance between himself and his mother. I had gotten a book from Kevin. He had given me this book from Norman Vincent Peale, which was um, uh, an author uh, that wrote some books in the 70s about positive thinking. Mm. And I had it on my bookshelf, and I just never read it. And, and I opened it up, and inside, like, this was after I had gotten this diagnosis, after, actually it might have been, no, it was definitely after, and I opened it up, and I saw Kevin had written in there, you know, and he gave a little message and told me why he was doing it and how he was so concerned. I don't know if I said it in the film or not, but if, if I didn't meet them, there's probably no doubt in my mind that I could have gone down that path. Here. But in a lot of ways, music and these guys saved me, and it sounds cliche, and it's, but it is, it is what it is. The group's high-profile split with Lewis Perlman and Johnny and Donna Wright was at least in part due to the management team's alleged lack of compassion, placing a greater premium on the bottom line than on Brian's well-being. Having already persuaded him to postpone it not once, but twice for business reasons, the group's former management team then pressured him back on the road before he was ready, physically or emotionally. Eight weeks to the day of my surgery, I was back up on stage in Charlotte, North Carolina was uh, oxygen tank standing by. Yeah. yeah, I mean, for the first for the first two weeks of the, uh, the tour, I had, you know, paramedics and people just because I didn't know, you know, I mean, I was in it. would be kind of scary. I mean. It was, it was very scary. It wasn't really my choice. I was going to say, I mean, but it should have been, shouldn't it have? It should have been nothing but my choice. Throughout the ordeal, Brian, a devout Christian who one day wants to record gospel, says his faith in God never wavered. His faith in mankind, however, was shaken. Um, I was running from my voice issues, mm -hmm. and I didn't want it to be known. I yeah. thought if I could handle it and swallow it and protect it, that we wouldn't have to talk about it. And when you're trying to make a record, and you can't sing on the record, it sucks, yeah. because that's my job. I get kind of choked up talking about it because Stephen and I talked about it. Me and I talked about it. They were like, "This is a, this is an important part, and it's this is who you are, and this is what you're going through." And, you know, if you talked to me four or five months ago, I wouldn't be able to talk, mm -hmm. and it was kind of scary. I was thinking about hanging it up. I wanted to stifle it. I thought if I didn't tell anybody, nobody would ask, and then it just kind of came out. And um, I'm glad it did. I feel better about it. Um, and again, I'm getting stronger each and every day. But how's your day. How's your voice it's today? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's better. Yeah. Though Holly's sister had lived with lupus for 13 years, her battle with the disease ended suddenly. She was 37 years old. Her death did come drastically there. He had little time to grieve as real life collided with show business. I literally had to get on a plane right after her funeral that day and go to South America to perform a concert the next day. And it's one of those kind of things that, you know, 
you don't really realize this is all great, the Backstreet Boys, and you know, in our lives and being able to entertain in front of people, you know, making lots of people happy. But at the end of the day, like with certain situations like Brian's heart surgery and, you know, the family member passing away, it just makes you realize that nothing is that great, you know, more than, you know, your own life. Nobody was looking out for us. Nothing was the same after that meeting for any of us. We filed the lawsuit, and that was the beginning of the end of our relationship with Lou. In 2007, Lou was arrested for running a big investment scheme, one of the biggest Ponzi schemes in American history. He was threatening filing a cease and desist because he had the, ownership of the name. The equipment we were using. The, our touring equipment. You know, he uh, shut it down. All that the up. He shut our tour down for a little while when we oh, wow. announced the yeah. lawsuit. Okay. So, so we were struggling with, do we stop the momentum to uh -huh. battle in court? Forgiveness is definitely not overrated. No. Um, you know, but it takes a, a big person to forgive somebody. Um, and I honestly have forgiven Lou, um, the thing that hurts me the most still that eats me inside is that I begged him in his office, you know, countless amounts of times to, to right the wrong. Right. And I knew that we were going to have a fight and I knew it was going to come down to money and to power and to things that we didn't have. Mm -hmm. And that was the sad thing, was the whole setup. But, you know, Nick is right. I mean, we, we wouldn't be the people that we are today. The, the human beings, the men, the grown men that we are because of, you know, the good and the bad. And, you know, I don't think we would change anything. I mean, there's, there's not a person here that would change a daggone thing that we've been through in order to be sitting right here with you still, you know, talking about life and good times and still making music. You know, really all we care about is just making our fans happy and just doing what makes us personally happy. Because if you try to, if you try to please the critics and you try to please all these other people, then, you know, it, you're not doing what you originally came into this business to do, and that was to make music because you enjoy doing it and because you love it. I'm trying to like make myself a better person, like creatively, um, as an artist. As you know, I'm picking up instruments. I'm I'm doing like maybe a different type of music and everything. But you know, when I do finally get back with them and we do another album, and everything it'll be an even better album because I'll be able to contribute a, a lot more and you know knowledge and everything. Because before before this and everything, I was kind of I was very young and just trying to find my way through. Yeah the whole business and you know I didn't know who I was individually so now I get a chance to to find myself and uh, you know create music and have fun at the same time you know it's like it, there was really I mean in my heart of hearts I can honestly I think I can speak for everybody saying that you know there's much more music left in us there's mm -hmm. there's many more tours left in us there are new goals set for you know a new band a mm -hmm. new group that that still trying to get out there and do what we've always done and and you know that we've worked very very hard to have what hard. we have and and we're not going to stop you know we would love to have another 17 years and it was just kind of why why keep going it was like we had so many dedicated fans that well, it's almost fans, like it, exactly. it, you know I would be missing a part of what I really want in my life if if I left this group you know and I couldn't do it I mean we've been through hell and back together you know, I mean, we've seen the highs together. We've seen really lows together. We've all matured as 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 artists, as writers, as producers, and as a and as a group and as a family. I mean, Nick was 12 when this whole thing started. He's 30 now. It's crazy. You know what I mean? It's like him. Him and I have spent the better half of our lives in this group. Of huge hits and hard knocks. They've learned that the best way to face the future is together. I feel like I've been really blessed to have met four other guys that are very, very great souls in my life. We're not going to be goofy and say, oh, I love you, dude. But we do love each other. We do care about each other. And it's because of us as a group and a unit that we've made it this far. Every now and then, if you're lucky, you meet someone who makes your day just a little bit brighter, your world just a little bit sweeter, and your smile just a little bit bigger. Us Backstreet Boys fans are especially lucky because we don't have one person who does that for us. We have five. And they've been inspiring us while simultaneously revolutionizing pop music for the past 20 years. From braces to bridal showers and happy meals to heartbreaks, the Backstreet Boys have consistently been there through it all. 
16 years after their music found me, I'm proud to still be here supporting them. These boys deserve all the success and respect they've worked so hard for. Fans fully recognize this, and it's about time the world does too. Congratulations on your star boys. Believe it or not, I'm actually at a loss for words. And that's not normal. <laughs> that's a great question. It's 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 hard to stomach. It. It's amazing when you guys, when we do meet and greets, when we have little moments to, to chit chat for you know a couple of seconds or whatever, to hear your all stories, to hear you know how we've touched you. Huh? <laughs> and there it is. Wait, wait, wait. But it, that means a lot to us. Because in this industry, you know, we've been so blessed. But we go through our own battles and our own insecurities. And so when you guys share with us, it makes us feel good, you know? Yeah.